There's three things I want to clear up about the TSX. The first is if you're installing any sort of amplifier where you have to run power to the battery, there's a different location where you can run your power wire. And I didn't even know about it. Someone in the comments in our last video brought it up, so I'll show it to you. Right around the same location where our hole is, if you pull this cover down, you can actually see, I don't have much light, but you see a grommet already. So there you go, you can kind of see it now. And that grommet leads into the engine bay. So out of that grommet, if you push your wire, you can then get it to come out of this hole down there, right where my finger is. And I'll show you pictures of what someone did. This is my 2012 wagon. Um, I do actually have a four gauge kicker kit, but I did have to replace my uh, fuse holder at one point. Um, so it loops around, goes under the intake, runs just past the uh, fuse box right here. You can see the wires zip tied right there. And then it kind of just curls down right there. And then just under the fuse box in the back over here, you can see right in the frame rail that the wire just goes in right back there right there someone else mentioned that they ran wire on this side so if i zoom out to the left of the engine back here you can actually reach this grommet pretty easily but you're going to come from this way in so if you try to come from the other side it's the glove box and right behind the glove box that kind of get in the way so if you pull the glove box you can kind of do it but the easiest way is to come from this way down and just poke the top of the grommet with a hole not the sides or around it so that you don't damage any wire but those are two other options to consider if you want to run power wire i think drilling the hole is the cleanest because you can make it the exact size that you need it to be but those are easier options that i wanted to show you i'm always down to learn something or put better information out there so if you see something in our videos that you think could be done better let us know we'll check it out if it makes sense we'll definitely update our video another thing i wanted to clear up or bring to your attention has to do with the center speaker so here's the grill I'll show you it just pops off and then I'll show you the mounting holes so I have to show you from outside the car but there you go it has two tabs that allow you to mount a speaker so that's normally a 3.5 in your other Acura is a 3.5 any 3.5 will really fit in your TSX there's a depth limitation so if you grab like a kicker or pioneer JBL infinity 3.5 they are too thick to sit down enough because there's an air vent right there so you need to account for that so if you're thinking about upgrading that speaker or adding a speaker there there's a limitation in size I'll show you some speakers that will fit but just know your traditional 3.5 may not fit you might need to get a 2.75 or a 2.5 here are some center speakers that will work so this one has a neodymium magnet so it's gonna fit no problem I know I've never heard of retro sound but Hey, they might be good stuff. If you want Kicker, Kicker has a 2.75 that comes with adapters that will work. In your ELS though, if you really want to go top end, you want Audison. Audison is going to have a one inch driver that comes with a bracket and a base blocker. And this is really what I recommend for your ELS. It looks like they're selling pretty cheap here. They're usually around 200 bucks. Um, cover the Kicker. Hertz has an option. This is just barely going to make it. You're going to have to bend these, but this will work as well. And then, I, I don't know, remember if I showed you this, but the Morel, this will definitely work. But these are expensive. But, I mean, if you're going top of the line, I would go Audison or Morel. If you're looking for something just because that one's blown, then Retro Sound, that's why I picked this one. Uh, if you have a kicker set or you're doing kicker speakers, then you can grab the two-inch. the two inch. Um, Those are really, there are way more options, but you really want to consider that mounting depth when you're picking a 3.5 for that center speaker. The other thing I want to talk to you about has to do with 3.5 speakers as well. And I'm talking about the wagon. So in the wagon, when you have the ELS system, you have 3.5 in the rear pillars. I thought those were traditional 3.5 speakers. They are not. They are very flat. I'll roll footage, someone sent me a video. And these are the Pioneers that I got, but they don't fit at all, comparing these flat ones. Trying to figure out which speakers or whether they sell like a flat version to cover it up, because my wagon these popped off too much force and then you know it doesn't close right so yeah look this is how they sit right now look at the so it won't close that popped off when i was putting back in these are the pioneers both sides the double din radio 
a uh, little, you know, but everything working fine. I got the amp and everything and the harness that you provide me. But yeah, that's how they look right now. That's how they sit. I had to put them with tie rods. You can see they're very flat. They're almost like tweeters. So I thought they were more like mid bases, but they're not. They're more like tweeters, so you're very limited in what you're gonna put up there. You're almost better off using a tweeter with an adapter. And I'll show you kind of what adapter will fit, and then the tweeter is gonna be up to you. So you can kind of turn the back into component speakers in your wagon, but it's up to you what you wanna do. I think from the factory, they might be set up as component speakers. I haven't gotten to look at one closely enough to analyze the output, but I think that's the case because of how thin the speakers are. Those are the three things that I wanted to talk to you about, guys. I wanted to make sure I updated you on the power wire situation because that can be a little bit overwhelming. And then the center speaker and the pillar speakers is just, I don't want to put the wrong information out there. So we'll do more about the speakers when we do a speaker video. But I know that a lot of people are just trying to get things done. So I wanted to give you that information now.